Today we get a real treat. Hey there, RP1 Nation. This is RP1 Texas. What y'all got going on? Well, we're riding a thousand miles around the state to raise awareness for RP1 Texas. Primary mission there at RP1 is to end veteran homelessness. Basically, right now we're riding a thousand miles, putting in front of as many people as we can, raise awareness. That's excellent. Get it going. Welcome to another edition of RFRP Texas History Lesson. As you can see, this trail comes out of Louisiana. It comes through right where we are and goes down into Mexico. So there's the old schoolhouse bell. And they say they still use that thing. I am half tempted to go over there and ring it. But then the Liberty Hill community might think it's time for lunch or something. You never know. Squeeze right on in here, buddy. When Europeans first arrived in Caddo territory, they found well-traversed trails. That little green dot on the state of Texas is where we are. That blue dotted line outlines the Caddo cultural area. Here we are outside of the Redlands Hotel. We actually have five historical markers. Man, would you look at that though. Traveling a thousand miles around the state to raise awareness and end veteran homelessness. This cowboy and his Spanish horse are gonna rest right there at the Angelina River where cowboys on Spanish horses have been resting for 300 years. Ain't that something. Hey there, RP1 Nation. This is RP1 Texas. Welcome to another edition of RFRP Texas History Lessons. Here, we are in uh, Palestine, Texas. And let's see if I can get that sun maybe up there somewhere. Down here is a good one. So we're outside of Islandburger's Bakery here in Palestine. And I'll read you this sign here. F.H. Islandburger lived from 1878 to 1959. A German immigrant worked at bakeries in Galveston and Fort Worth before starting his, this company in 1898. Originally located on the corner of John and Oak Streets, the operation was moved to this site in 1918. Allenberger also lived here for several years. Although he sold the business to his two sons and his son-in-law in 1949, his baked bread continues to be distributed throughout East Texas until 1968. Today, the bakery is noted for fruit and pecan cakes, which are produced from a family recipe and marketed worldwide. Well, ain't that something? I love to see these small businesses, you know, and they're old. You know, they ought to be big businesses, but uh, they are in their own right, ain't they? Y'all stay tuned for more RFRP Texas History Lessons. And uh, look us up, rp1texas.org. Learn all about our mission to end veteran homelessness and what we're doing with this 1,000-mile ride. Y'all take it easy. Love y'all.